Hi, this is Jay and back in the lab today, we're going to go through my top five tips that may save you some grief if you run into an emergency with your EPO application. Number one, go to menu, go to server settings, scroll down to policy and task retention, click it, select edit. The default is Remove policy and client task data. If you accidentally remove an extension, you have to read down here until a suitable management extension is installed. If you remove an extension by default, all your policies will disappear into dust. If you want to prevent that from an accident, change this from the default to keep your policies and your client task data. And now when you save it, if you delete it, all your policies will remain intact until you can put the newer or equal extension into place. Tip number two has to do with the backing up of all of your groups under My Organization. To do that, select My Organization, select Group Details, select Actions, Select Export Tree Structure. You're going to save the link. With today's date, mine is February 5th, 25. This will be placed on the desktop to be used at a later time if necessary. And inside this file is your entire exported tree. Tip number three. We're going to back up all your systems. Choose My Organization, Systems. Make sure that your filter is set to this group and all subgroup. Select this checkbox to select every single system that is in your system tree. Next, go to Actions. Go to Directory Management. Go to Export Systems. And we're going to take this file. I'm going to put the date on just like I did the other one. 020525 and I'm going to move that onto my desktop. Now your systems are backed up. Tip number four, back up all your system policies. Go to the system tree, select my organization, select the assigned policies tab, product, all, go down to actions, export all assignments, Right click, save the link on your desktop. It's going to be just like I did with the other ones, 020525. And now I have all my policies assigned to every single object in the tree. Click save. Tip number five, choose menu, choose automation, choose server tasks. Locate Disaster Recovery Snapshot Server. If you are running a virtual machine or even a, an actual server, you want to make sure that you're doing regular backups. If you don't want to rely on the raw installation backup, you may see this as set to enabled. Feel free to disable if you have an alternate method for backing up your system such as virtualization. As a note, the backup that this takes of the EPO environment takes all of the information pertinent to rebuilding your EPO server and puts it up into the database, the SQL database. If the database should become corrupt for any reason, you may find that your recovery of this snapshot will be unsuccessful. Take every action that's possible to back up your server on a regular basis and don't rely on the application to do it just alone. And there's my top five tips for the day. I'm Jay, thanks for watching.